Given that the PlayStation 4 Pro is out soon, of course, there's been a lot of talk about that, but we now have some comments from Phil Spencer about the rival to that particular console, which of course is none other than the Xbox One Scorpio, which of course is not out until holiday 2017, and we, we don't know too much about that particular console versus what we know about the Pro. Now, Phil Spencer had a rather lengthy interview with Game Informer, and I will include the interview source in the description below this video. And again, I won't be doing the whole interview here in this video because, well, it's really, really long. So I'm just going to talk about a few interesting things that I think are worth focusing on. Now, one of the first things they were asking him is, at E3 when he revealed the Scorpio, he used the phrase, gaming beyond generations. Now, does that mean... In the future, console gamers will need to play hardware more regularly if perhaps they want to play the best version of the game, kind of similar to, of course, how it works sometimes on PC. And he said, quote, It's hard to tell. Clearly in the case of Xbox One, Xbox One S and Scorpio, the answer would be, I don't know if it's more regularly, but you're going to want Scorpio to run the game at the highest resolution or frame rate. Whatever the developers decide to do with that game. As for the more regularly parts, to be completely honest, I don't know what the next console is past Scorpio. We're thinking about it, we're looking at consumer trends and what the right performance spec and price would be, and asking ourselves, can we hit something that is a meaningful performance characteristic that a gamer would care about? I don't have this desire to every two years have a new console on the shelf, that's not part of the console business model, and it doesn't actually help us. The best customer I have is somebody who buys the original Xbox and just buys all the games. That's the best customer for us in terms of the pure financials of it. I don't have the need, the need to, go, to get you to go out and buy a new, the newest console, and I don't have the need to create an artificial loop of here's a new console every two years in order to get you to go buy. The reason I hesitate to say yes to your question in terms of the future is, I don't know what the next thing is past Scorpio right now. I'm not trying to turn consoles into the graphics card market where every so often Nvidia and AMD come up with a new card, and if I want a little bit more performance, I'm going to buy that new card. I think for consoles, it's different. I think you have to hit a spec that actually means something in an ecosystem of television and games. Now, of course, something that is definitely inherent to PC gaming, and of course this is out of quote now, is that I obviously am a PC gamer, but my graphics card is a 780 Ti, and it's a bit of an upgrade. I'm going to be doing that hopefully next year, I would say. So I'm not getting the quote unquote best possible version of a game on the platform because, well, some of the 1080 or whatever is obviously going to be able to do more with the game than I can with my graphics card. It's just that simple. So obviously, the simplicity of a console, one of the things about it is like if you buy an Xbox One or a PS4 or whatever it happens to be, when you put a game in, you're getting the best version of that game for that platform. That platform, just want to specify. So obviously, the fact that they now have the Xbox Scorpio entering the market, there could be a sort of element of like, hang on, if I want the best version of this game for Xbox, I need the Scorpio, because the Xbox One version is going to be inferior. And Phil says, quote, the best looking version of Battlefield is going to be on PC. Someone is going to be able to throw enough hardware at Battlefield to get it to outperform what any of the consoles in the market are going to do. I guess you could say, as a console person, that you don't feel like you get to play the best version of Battlefield, so somehow you're disappointed. I would say, at the broadest sense, I don't think most of the console players think about it that way. It's just, I get to play Battlefield, it's fun, and I'm having a good time playing it in my television. Just to be clear, if you really wanted the best version, you're going to need something beyond the resolution and refresh rate of your TV. This is why for us, with Xbox Play Anywhere, to flip it back in a skilled PR way, something that's about us, we're saying you should play the game where you want to and you don't have to buy it twice. I understand the feeling of, I miss out because there's somebody else that can play a higher resolution, but I'm not sure the common player out there has less fun because of that. I hope not. And probably not, I mean, you're not going to have less fun because of a resolution, you might because of a frame rate, that's definitely a thing that I could see happening again, like, you know, one of the things I'd love to see, and this is a PS4 game, but still the most relevant example, is FromSoft to do Bloodborne on the PS4 Pro with a 60 FPS option, because, well, that game would just be so much more improved with that option, not saying the game isn't fun, but it would be more fun with that option. And while, you know, increased resolution and everything is makes the game look prettier, it doesn't really make it more fun. So he's not wrong, but obviously you may have a case of like, you know, you've got two people, one has the Xbox One, one has a Scorpio, and you know, the Xbox One guy goes around the other guy's house and sees the same game playing on the Scorpio, he might be, be feel a bit left out on the fact that his game is running better or looking better or whatever, but at the end of the day, he's still going to be having fun, I guess. 
So it's interesting to see their perspective on this and of course nice to know that they're not going to be going for a two or three year console life cycle. So obviously there was a lot of talk about the existence of the Pro and the Scorpio about how that might mean we're going to be getting much shorter console generations similar to that of the mobile phone market where every couple of years we get a new one and everyone goes out and gets a contract or whatever. So while hardware, hardware refreshes are probably going to be something that's going to be sticking around a while, depending on the success of the current models, of course. It's not going to be something that every couple of years you need to get the Xbox Scorpio or whatever it happens to be to in order to play the best thing. That's not really what they're going for. They're not going for a graphics card style situation. So it does make me wonder what they are going for. They're going to go for five years, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to say. They are obviously not thinking that far ahead. You know, the Scorpio is already pretty far ahead. So uh, maybe we should revisit this after Scorpio has been released and see then what Phil and Microsoft have to say. Regardless of all that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.